Hey everyone, welcome back. So today I wanted to do this makeup application that was an everyday glamorous look that incorporated matte eyeshadow. I typically do not do makeup applications that are strictly um, all matte. Um, especially with the eyes or even the face. I always like to add like a little like shimmer or, shimmer or a highlighter. So I didn't do any of that today. And the reason being is that because I want to, I know there are so many of you that really love matte eyeshadows and that's all you use, especially if you're older or if you have, if you have mature skin or if you have oily skin, you know, the shimmers really don't do it for you. And I get that. And, and each video that I'm going to start to do, I want to accommodate all different ranges and types of um, skin and uh, skin types of textures. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to use both palettes from Anastasia Beverly Hills. It's the Maya Mia palette um, as well as the Tamana Dress Your Face palette. Now I know that these are discontinued and they don't carry them anymore, but these shadows are now available in singles. So I'm going to tell each of you, you know, what color that I used for to create this, you know, everyday kind of glamorous, simple, smoky, I guess you can call this because there's so many terms for smoky eyes. I did not go in with any lashes because this is an everyday look. I don't have time every day to put on false lashes. I'm sure that many of you watching this are in the same boat as I am. But if you do like a more glamorous look every day, feel free to pop on some lashes. I think that false lashes, um, from Smoke and Mirrors Beauty, which is New York City lash, which I love so much. I think that those would really complement this look because if they're fluttery, just enough for every day. So let me just get right into the tutorial so I can show you guys exactly how I created this look and I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so I'm going to begin by applying the Guerlain Lingerie Depot foundation with my MAC 130 brush and you can see all the details in the previous video that I posted on the review. Then for my eyes, I'm going to start by priming them with Smash, Smashbox 24 Hour Photo Finish Eye Primer. This eye primer is absolutely wonderful. The eyeshadow does not budge. I, this is my new favorite. This is going in my kit as well. That's how good it is. Then I'm going in with Anastasia's Tamana palette. As you can see, all the colors are here, but you can purchase these as singles. And the first color that I'm going to take is Fresh on a fluff brush. And I'm just going to apply it to my entire, you know, my eyelids so I could set the primer. Then I'm going to take the shade Bengal and an E55 brush and apply it to the lids. And now I'm going to take the Maya Mia palette. All the colors are here. Again, you could buy these as singles. And I'm going to take the first shade is Sienna. And I'm going to take that on an E40 brush and I'm going to apply it into my crease. And I really want to smoke that out. So you can see I'm spending a lot of time in that area. Next, I'm taking the shade Chocolate, and I'm going to start by applying it to the outer corners of the eyes, and then I'm going to bring it into the crease as well. After that, I'm going to deepen that. I'm going to take the shade Deep Brown, and you can find that in the Maya Mia palette if you have it. I'm going to go right over it to intensify it. In the crease, I'm applying Caramel. And then I'm just going to go back over everything with the shade Bengal. Then I'm going to go back in and take Sienna and just fluff that and buff it in one more time just so there starts to be a little bit more continuity and you can see how it just um, all blends in together. And then I'm just going to go back in with the shade Fresh and just highlight the brow bone. Now I'm taking Rimmel's eyeliner. This is in the shade uh, Brown. It's an exaggerate eyeliner and the great thing about this eyeliner is that there's a smudger on the other end. These eyeliners are great quality. They really apply beautifully. They have a creamy consistency and they stay, they're waterproof. So now I'm gonna take that other side, the smudge side of the pencil, and I'm just going to actually just buff it in
after I buff it in, I am going to take the shade Chocolate on um, an E15 brush, which is a flat shader brush, and I'm going to just intensify that line with the chocolate. Now I'm taking Rimmel's Scandalize Mascara, and I'm really just going to beef up my lashes. I'm not putting any lashes on, so I'm just going to apply a few coats. I'm really going to just give a lot of volume to the lashes. Then taking Bye Bye Under Eyes Concealer from It Cosmetics, and this is the dual concealer, and there's a highlighter on the other side, but I'm only taking the concealer, and I'm just going to apply that under my eyes, and I'm going to blend it in using my ring finger. to take is a highlighting pen. This is the per Precious Lights from Guerlain and this is a highlighting pen in the shade 0 and I'm going to go and bring it right into the crease, the dip of the hollow areas of my eyes, down my nose, the center of my mouth, underneath my lip and pretty much everywhere you see and I'm going to highlight those areas. This is a great highlighting pen. Um, you can also use it as a concealer but I really happen to like it as a highlighter pen. going to set everything using the banana and vanilla shade from the Anastasia contour book And then for the blush, I'm going to take, first color is Melba, and I'm going to apply that to my cheeks. And then the second color is going to be Eternal Sun. After that, I am going to take the shade Caramel and I'm going to apply it to my lower lashes using an eye a short eyeshadow brush from Sigma. And then for the lips, I'm just going to take a clear um, lip liner from Rimmel. I really like this lip liner. And then I'm going to go in with Stila's Patina on the lips. And that completes the look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And if you have any questions, you know that you can leave some comments down below. And I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching.